Hey everybody, welcome back to the XO Wings channel and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can create good looking high quality QR codes directly in Excel and lots of them if you need them. So we're going to see how we can create an Excel workbook where you can click the button here and the QR codes are going to appear wherever you have your cursor and then as an alternative we're also going to look into creating a user-defined function so you can just do QR give it the data in this case the URL a name and then that will also return the QR code for you and so we can just drag down the formula and have all the QR codes that you may be interested in but let's get started from the start so the first thing you want to do is go to the Excellence homepage, then click on tutorials over here and select the how to create QR codes tutorial in the list here. Uh, we're going to jump over the prerequisites. So what you need to do is install a Python installation. I would recommend if you're, especially if you're new to Python, go with the Anaconda installation. It already contains Excel Wings, which will do the talking between Excel and Python. And you only need to install Senyo, which is described over here and which is the package eventually responsible for creating the QR code. Now, to actually then, uh, in, in, the, in the most simple case, create those QR codes, you could just uh, copy and paste that snippet here into a Jupyter Notebook. And so we can do this here on the right hand side. I can just paste this and I have on the left hand side, I do have a um, unsaved Excel workbook where I have uh, pre-filled a couple of URLs. Now the code over here, I can just click on shift enter to run that code. And obviously this will fail because it expects a qr.xlsx file. So to fix that, I'm just going to type in the name of my book here. Since it's unsaved, I just call that book uh, one. I hit again, shift, enter, and the code runs and inserts those uh, QR codes on the right hand side of the cell with the URL. Now, this is really as simple as it gets. You can get into the code and try to understand how everything works. Uh, definitely have a look at the blog where I go into more details and also describe how you can create and define those little green corners um, in, in, in that part here about formatting the QR code. Now, if you want to move on and, you know, um, you on, on a regular basis, you want to create those QR codes, then probably it's not so practical to always spin up a, a Jupyter notebook or maybe just run, run the code as a script. So in that case, we're going to create a uh, proper Excel Wings based tool that leverages the power of the Senio package to create some outstanding high quality QR codes here. So let's see how it goes. Um, to do that, I'm going to create a quick start project. I'm going to call this QR. And since I've already have one here, let me delete that first. So um, I'm just calling the Excel Wings quick start QR uh, command here on the desktop. So make sure you are in the directory where you want to have the quick start project folder created. So that created the qr.xlsm file and also along with it the qr.python file. Now instead of using that um, pre-filled uh, hello world sample here, we're going to actually copy paste the code from the home page which is a slightly modified version from the code we just ran before from the Jupyter Notebook. So I'm gonna just, you know, overwrite all this and paste that code, hit Control S if you're on Windows or Command S on, on Mac, and that's pretty much it. So now I can go back here, I can actually paste uh, again a couple of these a uh, couple of these URLs. Let's make them a bit bigger so that 
that was maybe a bit too much so that the uh, QR code fits. And let's see how we can make this bring bring this to work now. So the this, the thing that's changed from the previous version is that I'm actually going to take wherever your cursor is in Excel as the starting point for reading in uh, the URLs. And then basically, you know, you just click on run main and boom, these QR codes are going to appear as you had them before. So that definitely makes it easier to work with the tool. You can, however, also go a step further and say, okay, I'm going to have the uh, a form control, like a button, and hook that up to the, the predefined sample call, which also will call the same function. So if you wanted to clear those again and click on that button, then you're told that you please put your cursor in a cell with a value and then uh, run that again and uh, you are back with your QR codes. Now to go a step further and turn this into the uh, into user defined functions, uh, you can follow the tutorial over here and copy paste the code. It's practically the same code again. Um, what we need to do is, is, is basically really just paste that function below here. We actually don't need to repeat those uh, import statements. We've already got them here at the very top of the module here. So as you can see, um, it's pretty much the same function as we have here, only that we don't need to do like, you know, defining the cells from where we are going to, to start looking for URLs because it's a user defined function. So that information is practically given from uh, by the fact from where you run those user defined functions. And that's pretty much it. So in that case, we can remove all these, uh, all these things again. And uh, in, instead, you know, give those give those uh, URLs a name, we fill that, and then basically we have to go to Excel Wings, we click on import functions, and once that's returned, uh, we do have now that QR function available that, uh, you know, accepts the URL or any sort of text data here and a name, and then also will return your uh, user defined function. And then basically apply the formula and that is then also inserted for the other uh, URLs. Now, the beauty about, obviously the beauty about um, these user defined functions is that it's dynamic. So like if I change that into Google, um, well, yeah, google.org or maybe probably better to say google.com, google then as you can see, the QR code is, is being updated automatically. So this was a, a quick rundown of how you uh, can make these um, QR codes work. They are, you know, um, of great quality because they use a vector based format. So you can basically make them as big as you need them to. They are SVG based. So it's a high quality standard. It's a high quality vector based format. And um, as I as I initially said, whatever uh, colors you prefer, you're able to give that really um, all the options you wanted to. And definitely go to also the uh, documentation of Senio. There are uh, obviously links here in the tutorial. So uh, this will give you instructions on how to change everything you want to change in, in your QR code. It's got a lot of uh, different options here. So like if you like, you know, um, fancy styling, then you will find instructions on how to do that. So far, uh, the tutorial for today, um, hope you like it and I hope it makes the creation of QR codes in Excel for you a little bit easier. Um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if Python and Excel are topics that are of interest to you and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.